1mm spider hiding in the undergrowth is the sort of thing the average Sydney bushwalker would pass right by. But not this man. I have a very keen eye for small things. When I walk around the bush, I usually don't look into the trees. I usually look on the ground. There was a spider that uh, just looked different to other spiders I'd seen before, so I was very curious. And I took a couple of shots. The photographs revealed a most extraordinary looking jumping spider. Since then I've been wrapped by it and uh, wanted to take more pictures. I came back to this place for about three years, but unfortunately I haven't found it during that time and I kept searching at the wrong spot. Three years later, Jürgen's perseverance paid off and he captured what he believes is the only footage of Australian peacock spiders. They have very, very large front eyes. They just observe everything. The behaviour of the spider does remind me of a dog. You can see uh, how the spider gets excited. You can see when it gets frightened and wants to run away. Uh, you can see all of these emotions that the spider has. Although the female of this species had never been properly described, Jürgen collected some drab-looking candidates and dropped them near the males with instant success. The first time I saw this mating display, I was really blown away. Uh, I couldn't believe that something like this would happen on a scale like this, this colour and this movement. To get her attention, the male waves his legs at the female. Watching closely, the female judges the display. The male vibrates his abdomen as the excitement rises. And then his final extraordinary act. Like a peacock, he raises two brilliantly coloured flaps and dances for the female. If uh, he's not doing the right thing, the female might not think he's his right partner. Failure to impress can turn lovers into lunch. When I came down to, to Sydney, I was a bit bored because there weren't that many things to photograph. But since I found the species here, I just don't want to live anywhere else. I think it's probably the most beautiful spider in the world. 